<clears throat> hey, 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 what's up, guys? Y'all know who it is. It's your, it's your boy James coming in uh, from Texas. It's, uh, it's a little chilly outside today, but uh, that would never stop me from hanging out with you guys. Y'all like this? This is a, a like a parka slash, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's really comfy and it keeps me warm. What's up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Cool jacket. Thanks, y'all. <clears throat> guys, y'all know why I get on Periscope. It used to be to hang out and kick it and chill, but recently it's kind of been like, I don't know. It's to uh, spill tea. I like I like some sweet tea. I y'all know I love sweet tea. <laughs> spill tea. Y'all are crazy, man. I can't with y'all. Tea time with James. Tea time with James. Do tell. Do tell. Do tell. Guys, it's called story time. All right. You know. I wasn't much of a reader, but I've really gotten into this book. <clears throat> I got this book at, uh, I don't know what book, where did I get this from? Books a Million? I think so. It's called Cheating 101, Sky vs. Lance. I heard it's a, it's a real doozy. It's a real doozy. See, I, I kind of got to the second chapter. Really don't know. Let's see. But it gets really interesting, guys. It gets really interesting. Let's see. Oh, and first off, guys, got some topics that I like to relate to. Got some topics I want to, you know, scratch off the record. A lot of people on Twitter. Not a lot of people, probably about five or six people. And her name is, what's her name? I don't know. She changes her name every week. Katie, Cat, whatever, Kitty Cat, Meow Meow. But anyways, the fact that she is going after a foundation that has helped so many families and kids across America and trying to discredit a foundation because of me and my ex's bullcrap. Y'all heard it. Me and my ex's bullcrap. We didn't work out. Things went wrong. Things went south. Whatever the case might be. But for this person, for my ex, to allow this stuff to go on on social media and liking tweets and about negativity on the foundation that has went out to countless of middle schools to try to stop bullying, um, to help families that didn't have a pillow to lay their heads down. It's just, it's appalling to me that, you know, it goes on. And you know who you are and shame on you. Shame on you for doing that. No matter what happened, if a foundation or anybody turned themselves off towards me, I would not discredit them. I would not try to run their name in the ground because I have a personal vendetta against that foundation. But like I said, guys, it's story time, all right? Let me make sure my lighting is right. I like my tea swizzle on the back. You can't see her. Can't see her. <clears throat> oh, 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 guys. I want to clear up some more stuff. I want to clear up some more stuff, guys. Let's see. People, uh, well, a group of people, about five people, says they, they keep tagging me in some stuff that's saying that 
I took information off of my ex's phone without her permission, without this and that, and whatnot. And that's like literally the whole thing that this is coming up to is I'm taking information. Well, first off, how is it taking information off of somebody's phone when my fingerprint's stored in their phone? <gasps> oh my God, is that a, is that a twist? Oh my God. Oh yes. You know what, I moved to strike. I moved to strike. Now how is it, nah, I wouldn't even say that it was called taking because the simple fact is we had each other's fingerprints in our phone. From the very beginning, she was allowed in my phone, I'm allowing her phone. So how in the world do you think I caught my ex cheating when my, I, I guess I hacked her password or something, right? No, it's because my freaking fingerprint was stored on her phone. Bet she didn't tell you that. Anyways, back to my story time. Y'all got your Coronas? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Cheating 101, Sky versus Lance. It's chapter two. Y'all really need to check this out. Oh, and let me tell y'all something else. If you're reading this or you're watching this or whatever, kitty cat, uh, or your little people that you got trying to discredit good people, um, stop. Oh, and I, and I, I seen where you called me a, a B word. That's, you know what? It is what it is, but stop being a Twitter gangster. Cut that out. Come on. Stop with the, you know, I'm bad on Twitter and I can sit behind my computer desk and my cell phone, you know, 10,000 miles away in Canada and talk crap to somebody from Texas. Like, it's a very simple solution. If I bug you that much, let's, let's grab tea. Let's go come down to Texas. Let's hash it out. Uh, anyways, guys, Cheating 101. I got this from Books A Million. It's a really good book. But anyways... The story goes between two people, and it's um, Stella. Stella and Lance. It's a really good. It's actually a really, it gets really heightened. Um, let's see. I don't know. Where did I leave it off at? Oh. This, oh, and this happened, uh, I think this story happened around November 9th. Uh, which is a Wednesday at 12.06 p.m. That's where the story evolved, guys. Stella and Lance, okay? In case y'all don't know, uh, Sky was actually uh, a name that was stored in the phone, you know, as a false pretense, you know? It's like, you know, this book's called Cheating, so, you know, if I want to cheat and I want to talk to my ex, I'm going to try to be slick and save it up under another name, you know? It, I mean, it makes sense. It's not very smart because I found out, but it makes sense. Um, and to answer your question, Kitty Cat, uh, you know, I asked her the reason why, you know, she changed the name to Sky. Uh, and she said, well, it's my ex and I didn't really feel like I needed to put his name under there because I knew you would get mad. Of course I would get mad. Yes, I would get mad. Anyways. Back to the story. Do you, do you. <clears throat> it says, <clears throat> November 9th, 12.06 p.m., which is a Wednesday, guys. Y'all are very good at your timestamps. Check it out. Always wishing you the best. That's from Lance. First text. First text. It gets interesting. Stella says, hi. Who is this? Lance. It's Lance. Stella says, Lance? With five exclamation marks. Lance. How are you? Stella says, I'm doing really good, babe. How are you? Stella says, I thought about you when I got home. I've been just grinding hard 
I was on a TV show this summer. How's life for you in basketball? Boy, it's a good story. It's a good story. It's a good story. But uh, Lance says, you're such a sweetheart. Everything is good with me. Just grinding hard, trying to win games and stay healthy. What show? Stella says, big brother. Stella also says, I respect that you have a girlfriend, so that's how much I'm allowed to miss you. Lance says, and to be politically correct, to be politically correct, you have a boyfriend too, don't you? Stella says, yeah, Y-A, Y-A, that's it, Y-A. Wow, sounds like Stella really didn't want to uh, go into too many tweet the deets. <clears throat> so, Lance says, when am I seeing you? Ooh, gets, uh, gets pretty, pretty thick right here. If you're all kids, I would definitely get out of here, all right? This is PG-13, and if you're kids, you shouldn't be on here. Stella says, Monday, right? When do you get home? Lance says, I think we have a game Monday. I get back late Saturday night. Stella says, what about Sunday? Lance says, that might be tough. I have a bunch of errands to do that day, and I have a new place and still moving stuff from the 42nd Street. Wow. This guy lived in, uh, I guess, New York City. I'm not like a... Uh, Geographer or geologist, but uh, I think that's New York. Uh, Stella says, where are you moving to, babe? And then Stella also sent three question marks because she wants to know. Stella also says, are you moving in with your girlfriend? Oh, my God. Lance's got a girlfriend? <laughs> oh, God. This is getting good, guys. I'm glad y'all are in here with me. Lance says, I already moved. I bought a new place. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Lance, I'm in Tribeca. What is that? Tribeca? Tribeca? I don't know. I guess it's it's a pretty cool place, you know. Um, this guy seems like he's got a lot of money, you know, can afford to go to good places, stuff like that. Yeah, she lives with me. Stella says, congratulations. Thank you. Lance says, I'm really happy for you, Stella. Oh, let's see what this. Sunday, November 13, 1022 AM. Stella, when will I see your dot, 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 dot? I don't know what those dots mean. When will I see your dot, dot, dot? I'm going to have to Google that. Stella also puts a question mark after that. I guess he did, you know, guys don't respond in a timely manner. You know, that's a lot of, I, I'd be mad, you know, if I said, when can I see you or see your dot, 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 no one answered in a while. So, of course, I'm going to put a question mark, and this is what Stella did. So, I'm proud of you, Stella. So, Lance finally comes back and says, when you are free. Stella says, I'm free this week. Lance says, mischief emojis times eight. You know those little emojis with the teeth and they're like grinning and they're like up to no good, the real mischief ones? There's eight of them. So, so uh, Lance puts eight of them and says, you have no idea. You have no idea. Well, Lance, I know what idea. I know the idea. You go, you go, Glenn Coco. Stella says, LOL, me too. Oh my God. Well, guys. This story is getting really, I, I just, hold on. Okay, I'll read a little bit more. Um, Stella, I was thinking about the first time we talked on the phone. You were at the mall and I was in Dubai. I read under Penn Station and you were asking what I wanted for my birthday. And you said nothing. And this is really like kind of romantical actually. Uh, Stella, how life flies by. Lance replies, I just imagine your smiles all the time. 
I used to come all the way from White Plains to come get you. Stella, I know. You're the sweetest, sweetest man. Lance, when am I seeing you? Stella replies, Tuesday, right? Stella also replies, when do you get home? Lance, I think we have a game. I'll get back Saturday night. Is that fine for you? Stella, what about Sunday? Hmm. Guys, this story is deep. And you know what? I don't want to read everything off of this because it's a really good book, guys. It's a really great book. So you know what I'm going to do for y'all? We're going to have tea time once a week. Once a week, we will have tea time, guys. Y'all, look at you, look at you, look at you. You want more of the... I'm telling you, it's a good book. It's a good book. Y'all y'all don't even know. Y'all can check it out. Books a Million. It's called Cheating 101, Sky vs. Lance. Um, but now that tea time's over, guys, I just wanted to hit y'all with some, uh, some information. Um, guys... This is it's really crazy how all this stuff went on. And I'm just going to keep doing these periscopes and defending my family and my friends. And because I know them, for one. And for two, uh, if anybody deserves any of this, it is not the people that you are attacking. If you want to attack somebody, attack me. That's fine. But when you drag in my daughter... When you drag in Bullies Reality Foundation, when you drag in other people that does not need to be drug in this, you're crossing the line. You know, and um, I'm just here to regulate things. And I will continue to regulate things until things get regulated. So, guys, y'all keep talking about my daughter and my family and friends. And uh, we're going to keep having tea time. Anyways, I got things to do today. It's called go out and have some fun. But you guys have been awesome for tea time. And uh, you're awesome. And thank you all so much for joining me on tea time, guys. You guys are awesome.